Welcome back. In this video, we will take a look at how to subscribe to changes in Observable, as well as how we can use that to assist with debugging. Let's start by adding a subscription. We'll go into our main JavaScript file and subscribe to the selected item property of our view model. To subscribe, we pass in a callback function that has a parameter, which is the new value of the observable. A cool trick that some of you may not be aware of is that we can programmatically trigger a breakpoint in JavaScript using the debugger statement. This will cause the browser to pause execution at that point for inspection. The debugger keyword works in all browsers after Internet Explorer 6. However, there is a caveat in all versions of Internet Explorer, at least up until IE 10. This will work if you have the developer tools open. However, the debugger statement will cause an error if you do not. Be careful to remove the code before checking it into source control or publishing the code. Let's run this now. We'll load the page and make sure that the browser debugger is open. Now, click on Hello to select the document. Notice that we are now paused in the debugger. We can now inspect the new value. We can also look at the call stack to see what caused this change. We'll skip past the knockout library code and click on the entry in the stack that's in our code, namely knockoutdocs.js line 14. We see that we are in the edit item callback function where we are setting the selected item. We won't dig too much into the knockout source code, but one useful thing to know is that if we look at the previous function in the stack that's inside the knockout source, we can access some useful information to help us determine where this came from. The thing to look at here is the event name variable, which we can see is the click event. If we enter the element variable in the console, we can also find out which element triggered that event. One last thing to note is that by default, Knockout treats non-primitives as having changed regardless of whether or not they changed. If we resume execution and click on hello again, we will see that we triggered the debugger statement again even though the value did not change. We can override this behavior by overriding the default knockout observables equality comparer. ko.observable.fn refers to the observables prototype, which means that when we override the equality comparer function, it is applied to all existing and new observables. We can see that the default equality comparer in Knockout explicitly checks to see if the type is a primitive. If it is not, it will always return false. The developer of Knockout has stated that this is done by design because it is safer for cases where sub-properties or non-observable properties have changed. I disagree with this. The behavior is inconsistent with what is expected in any object-oriented language. It can cause an unnecessary performance hit, so I often override this function in Knockout. We've seen how we can use subscription and the debugger statement to help us debug our Knockout application. This wraps up section 4. In the next section, we will jump back into expanding Knockout docs by adding a spreadsheet class.